Hey guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial and today it's on Battleship. So most of you will have probably played this as a child or when you were a lot younger. Basically you have two people, they each have different sorts of ships such as a carrier, a destroyer, a cruiser and you have to try and sink all of the enemy ships before they sink yours and you can play it in an inventory, a really cool GUI. Uh, so first of all, let's have a look at the config file. I am recording with a screen recorder because um, when I've got two Minecraft accounts open like this, Fraps is really awkward for some reason. So at the top we have all of the four different types of ships. You can say how many you want um, in the game. So I would set all of them to one and it tells you how big they are. Then we have whether you get a reward. So that would be pretty cool. So it may, might cost a thousand and obviously the winner will get um, possibly two thousand or something. And down at the bottom we have the materials of the grid. So we will show you this in a bit. But uh, basically when you get a miss it will show this colour. When you have a ship it will be this colour and various other things. So let's get into it. If you want to start a game do BS followed by their account name. And that will invite them. They then have um, 15 seconds to do BS again and that will accept. So let's use my account to show you this. You have to choose where your carrier is and all the other ships. So we are going to set our carrier right at the top so click five times and once you've done that it will uh, set as bedrock. So that means it's locked in and then the other account has to do it as well. However if you do it wrong you can click as many times as you want but you have to do it correctly to um, to be able to move on. And then obviously a battleship so I'm just going to set them in a row so it's easier and we have to do it on my account as well. Then we have to do the cruiser and they have to do a cruiser as well like this and then the destroyer which is the final one. So pop that at the bottom and here we go. So the game has started and as you can see we have lots of brown black wool everywhere. We don't know where their ships are although we do know because we can cheat and if you get a hit you get another go and we can click all of these and that will be the enemy, what is it, destroyer? I think that's a destroyer, destroyed. Um, so if we click somewhere and it's wrong we will show our ships and the enemy or the opponent I should say um, we'll have a go at finding ours and if they get it wrong they will uh, not have a go anymore so we can click all of these I'm just going to do it very 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 quickly oh that was wrong um, to show you so if you do get a miss it will show up as a blue um, pane so let me just do a few more of these boop boop and there we go so I won the game and uh, that is how you do it so if we did have the economy enabled I would have got a reward which is really cool. Um, it would be pretty cool that it doesn't cost anything and then um, you get maybe a few hundred dollars or something. So that is how you use it. It's really easy to configure and it's a fun game to play that's been around for many many years or decades. It's really old. So you can download it for free down below. Subscribe, like, comment and I'll see you next time.